Hey folks, I'm at Literary Lady. Today is Thursday, July 11th, and it's time for Literary Tip Thursday. Today is part seven in the Get Your Book Published in 2013 series, and as promised, today I'm talking about blog tours. Some of you may know them as book tours or virtual book tours. And some of you may ask, well, what exactly is a blog tour or a book tour or a virtual book tour? The, am the answer, simply put, is think about a concert tour except it's done with books and it's done online. Let me give you an example of a blog tour or a virtual book tour. Let's say you have a new book that's coming out. You want to visit as many people or get the word out to as many people as you possibly can. So let's say you hire a promoter or you can do it yourself and you know I'm all about doing things yourself but sometimes we don't have time because it's very time consuming. Uh, you can hire a promoter and they will go out and seek blogs and radio interviews for you uh, to be featured on. So let's say you're doing a two-week tour. On Monday, you may be a, a guest uh, blogger on someone's blog, meaning you may have an article of interest that you want to blog about on that person's blog. And that people do that all the time. And so this makes it interactive with people who actually frequent that blog. They can ask questions, they can comment, you can have conversation back and forth. Uh, there are those particular blog tours where people just submit the information like a bio of the author and a synopsis of the book and maybe a book trailer or uh, something to that effect and they just post it on that day and the author will stop by frequently to see if there are any comments left on the blog post. If they are, they go ahead and answer and again, uh, starting another conversation on a particular blog. And let's say on Tuesday or Wednesday, we're on Wednesday, you have a blog interview, uh, a blog talk radio. They're very famous now for doing uh, author promotion. So you may be on ABC uh, radio channel doing an interview. And of course, that's pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, another one is question and answer session. Uh, an, a uh, blog host may post a, a question. So let's say they'll start with question number one. What made you decide to uh, write this story? And then the, the author would post an answer. And hopefully people who frequent that blog will uh, interact and, and get in on the conversation. So there are very uh, different things that you can do. Many th different things that you can do on a, a blog tour. Now, there are pretty basic blog tours. And there are more extensive blog tours. I know there are some blog tours that are free. And there are some that go up to about $1,500. It's just depending on exactly what you want done. $1,500, of course, uh, there's a lot more work uh, involved. And I won't get into that. I'll actually let you research that on your own. But um, three particular uh, blog tour, I want to say companies or promoters that I know of and that I do frequent work with, uh, is Ty Webbing Creations, and that's owned by Ty Ora Moody. And she does both radio and blog uh, tours for her authors. Uh, she does branding, uh, doing the tour with her authors, and things like that. And there is Paulette Harper Johnson. She owns Right Now Literary, Literary Agency, and she also does them. And then there is Bonnie Calhoun of Christian Fiction Online Magazine, uh, who has a subsidiary that does blog tours as well. And the good thing about blog tours is, whereas concert uh, singers uh, take their concert across the country, they're in a different city every night or they're uh, in a different country, you can do this all online without leaving your house, without getting out of your pajamas, and you can reach so many more people than a live physical concert could act, could could ever reach. So your your reach is broad. You can reach people in different cities, states, countries without leaving your home. And with that being said, without spending any money at, at all, little or no money at all. So those are why uh, book tours are important and why if you're an author trying to promote your work, they are very important to utilize uh, to get your work out there and promote your work. Again, I gave you three uh, particular uh, agencies that I work with back and forth. We have a a, uh, a a revolving door relationship. 
Uh, and I'll put their information up here. Please certainly uh, give them your business because they, they're good at what they do. Uh, but then again, you can do it yourself if you don't want to do that. You can start off small, maybe do a weekend tour, maybe just do a week tour. I've known some people who do a two-month tour. It just depends on what goal they are trying to reach. But again, authors, please utilize book tours. Look it up. Or contact one of these great ladies here and find out how they can help you um, get your book tour off the ground. Now, I say this, and I get a lot of slack for saying it, but I'm going to say it anyway. Don't contact these ladies and ask, hey, can you give me this information? And then go out and try to do it yourself. These are business owners like everyone else. Call these people and see if they can help you. And you pay them to help you if you don't know what you're doing or you don't have the time. Again, they do good work. Look at their websites. Excuse me. Look at their websites and see all the great work that they've done. Um, if you want to know some of the work they've done, look at some of our sites. And you'll see some of the, the uh, tours that they've actually promoted and that I've hosted. Um, and they, again, they do good work. Again, folks. I'm always talking about doing research, do research. Again, look these ladies up and employ, employ means pay, employ their services to help you with your book tour and tell them that that literary lady sent you, but also go on Google and research book tours, blog tours, or virtual book tours. You'd be so so surprised how many people are out there that are in this, book, this business. And again, if you want to do it yourself, that's fine. Now, doing it yourself means you're going to have to go out and mingle, network online with different blogs, with different radio shows, and uh, have a revolving relationship because you just really, it's not ethical to contact someone and say, hey, do this for me without ever having supported them in any way, listen to a show, read a blog post or anything like that. I'm about supporting each other. I'm not into one-way relationships. So enough of all that. This again was part seven of getting your book published in 2013. And I think I'm going to stop at 10. So that means we have three more weeks of tips on how to get that book published in 2010. And next week, I'm going to talk about ways that you can actually publish your work. I use, I'm sorry, actually print your work. I use Lightning Source. I also use create space from Amazon, and then we'll talk about various uh, ebook formats, uh, and various ebook uh, resources where you can get your book on um, ebook, and then we'll talk about some um, books, book audio uh, resources. I'm at Literary Lady. This has been Literary Tip Thursday. Have a great weekend. Talk to you next week.